Check, check, check. Sounds good. Okay. What is up, good people? Welcome to another video. Today, I want to start off with a question. If your selfishness hurt a relationship that you had with either a friend, a significant other, family member, um, anything like that, but you could look into the future and see that that selfishness gave that person a significantly better life, would you sacrifice your relationship in order to help the person that you have the relationship with. That reminds me of that meme that says, would you slap your mom for 10 million? Initially, I wanna say no, but then my mom might slap me for not slapping her to get 10 million. I don't know. <laughs> mom, let me know. So last week I did a spoken word and um, I just wanna play a little part of it for you. But sometimes one of the most selfish things about ourselves is that we aren't selfish enough. Now I know you might be thinking, how can I be selfish and help the helpless when while I'm trying to build my community to be as strong as elephant tusk? Well, let me ask you this. How much can you pour from an empty cup? So basically, that's what I wanna talk about today. Can being selfish be a good thing? Or even better yet, is being selfish a necessary thing? So please feel free to check out that spoken word. I'll put a link up here as well as a link in the description. So to start off, I just wanna say that I actually cannot stand selfish people. To me, they are some of the most difficult people to deal with because they're always looking at things from a perspective of how can it benefit me? How can I benefit from every situation, every relationship, every opportunity? Now, at the same time, I don't completely disagree with that. I think that we are all selfish on some type of level. And at the end of the day, we're going to do the thing that best suits us. The difference is selfish people are willing to obtain the benefit at the expense of someone else unfairly. They don't consider others in their decision making. If something that they do causes you to go down or just, just hurts you in some type of way, they will see it as okay as long as it helps them. As long as they're going up, they don't have a problem with someone else going down. Now in the spirit of competition, that's cool. If me and someone else are competing for a job, of course I want that person to go down, but it's not necessarily because I'm evil or anything like that. So I don't think all of that is bad, but it's when everything you look at becomes that. It's tunnel vision and the vision that you're focused on is yourself. In my opinion, beware of those people. It'll be difficult dealing with them. <laughs> but with that being said, I also think that selfishness is a good thing, especially when that selfishness benefits others, right? So now we're talking about the intent of your selfishness. So let me give you an example. I knew someone who used to help a family member out with paying their bills. Initially, just, just your knee-jerk reaction would be like, man, that's that's really dope how you, how you care about the person. Well, down the line, as I talked to this person more and more, what I found out is this person made some sacrifices in order to, to continue to help this person out financially, right? Again, still sounds good, but here's the thing. The sacrifices that he made would have led him to a better financial situation. The reason he didn't take part in, the, in that situation or he didn't take advantage of that opportunity was because him taking advantage of that opportunity, leading to a better job, better finances, right? would temporarily take him away from being able to help that person financially. So what he did was selfless, but my argument is, did he do the right thing? Did he actually do the thing that would benefit them the most? Was his actions actually selfless? Because here's the thing, let's say he couldn't pay their light bill for the next six months because he had to go into this training, allowing that person to struggle or even to, to suffer, if you will, for six months so that they never have to suffer again, along with you being able to better, better handle the situation because the person I know that was helping their family member out, they were struggling themselves. If he would have been selfish, right, and just did that, wouldn't he be able to help the person out a little bit more? In the beginning of my spoken word, there's a part where I ask you, how much can you pour from an empty cup? And this is kind of the foundation of my argument. If I have a cup that has nothing in it, what do I have to give you? In order to fill my cup up, right? 
I have to go off and do my own thing. And then once that cup is full, I can come back. Now I have something to give. Let me give you a personal example. Right now, my wife and I, we have a baby on the way. And one of the things that I've been doing a lot of is just working, working extra, working hard, trying to build some things, right? But it comes at a price because I don't get to spend as much time with my wife as she would want me to, or even as much as I would want to. I selfishly will sacrifice time, go off on my own, and do these things and build these things up so that I can ultimately give my wife and my future daughter a better life. And let me just be completely transparent with you. My goal, ultimate goal in life is to not only be able to give my wife and my, my children a better life, but I also wanna be able to give my mom and my dad a better life and even my wife's parents a better life. I would like to be able to take care of everybody's bills. That's what I want. In order to do that, I may have to be selfish with my time. I may have to be selfish with my finances. I may even have to be selfish emotionally because a lot of the examples that I'm giving you are financial, but sometimes you have people that will call your phone and they'll complain. They'll just talk about negative things and it will ultimately bring you down. I remember when I was younger and I was in this youth group at this church that I went to, um, the youth pastor did this illustration. He had someone stand on the chair and then he had someone else stand next to the chair. And so the tasks that he gave us is the person standing on the chair had to pull the person standing next to the chair up. And so it was really funny. We were laughing. Um, some of the stronger people were able to pull some of the weaker people up. But, you know, even when they pulled them up, it was still a little bit of a struggle. And it was really funny to watch. Then he gave us a new task. He said the person that was standing next to the chair had to pull the person down off the chair. And again, it was super funny, but it was a lot easier for people to pull people down off the chair than it was for people to pull people up onto the chair. Matter of fact, the weaker people were able to pull down the stronger people much more effectively than the stronger people were able to pull up the weaker people. And just using that illustration, my, my point of this video is instead of just trying to pull people up just because you're there, why not go to the gym, build your weight up, come back to the chair, and then pull the people up. And even though it's still not as easy to pull someone up as it is to pull them down, I think pulling them up will be a lot easier if you have a lot more strength. So again, going back to the question, how much can you pour from an empty cup? I end the spoken word by asking you, how much can you pour from a cup that's overflowing? I think that being selfish is a necessary and it's actually a good thing when your selfishness, the intent of that selfishness is so that you can ultimately be selfless. And you cannot truly be effectively selfless until you are in a position to either give, to pull people up, to help people out. Because when you are trying to pour from an empty cup, what you're doing is you're enabling behavior. You're only helping someone in the short term and can't actually help someone in the long term. So these past few years, I've been choosing to be a lot more selfish, but again, in order to better benefit the people that I care about. That doesn't mean I can't do anything to help people. I still help people. I am more intentional with my selfishness. I am more intentional at the times I know I can be selfless. So that's just my opinion. I now wanna hear from you. Let me know what you think. Selfish, selfless, both, balance. Am I off? Am I wrong? Do you agree with me? Let me know down below in the comments. I wanna hear from you. And also make sure you check out my spoken word. I'll see you guys in the next video. It's your boy K-Soul. Peace. Thank you.